got tangled and I don't know how to untangle it. Oh, my ears are getting swollen from continuously putting on these earrings. Match like a cooler outfit, like the sun. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a yes style haul and it's been a really long time since I've done like a non-beauty, non-skincare related yes style haul. But it's actually one of the first videos that I've ever made on this channel. And so I wanted to share again with some of the items that I bought and of course all the earrings that I bought because I am obsessed with yes style earrings and Korean style earrings. If you're new here, nice to meet you. My name is Vicky. I do weekly videos on beauty, fashion, anything girly, hauls like these. Uh, so if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing. Uh, I'd love to have you here. But without further ado, let's just get started into the haul. Let's start this haul off by addressing the elephant in the room, which is this top right here. It is by this Korean brand called Lusuna. I don't really know how to pronounce it, um, but it's kind of like a mesh, very mesh, as you can see from all the see-through parts, uh, lace panel top, uh, and it comes with the camisole underneath. So actually, the top itself is all is all almost see-through, but it does have a camisole underneath to cover all the important parts, and the camisole matches the top, which is nice because usually with these see-through tops, if they sell them separately, you can never find like a matching or good top to match with underneath. So it's nice that it comes with this one as well. I actually bought this top because I saw another youtuber have in her haul and it's totally my aesthetic with the flowers kind of the mesh and just this baby blue because i love baby blue colors if you haven't noticed from my previous hauls of items that i've bought before i will say because it is a one size fits all top it obviously is not flattering for all body types and i think that includes me as well the first thing to point out is i think for me the shoulder area is a little bit tight so kind of makes me look pretty bulky which I guess I am bulky but you don't want to buy clothes that make you look bulky you want to buy clothes that make you look flattering so I do feel like this top is not exactly the most flattering for me and I don't know if it's just me or I feel like it this kind of like puffy cut off here it kind of looks weird on me so yeah I, I do still really like the top and having it in my closet but I am having a hard time finding occasions where I can wear this top but I will say the material is quite nice for mesh tops it's always a concern of it being like too thin and too fragile like it would break in the washer but this type of mesh is actually quite um, strong so I feel like I'm not as worried about it like breaking after one wash or anything of like that it, I will say it's because it is stiffer it's also not as soft and comfortable but you can't really have both I just think that it's better fitted for people who are probably like between an extra small and small versus like someone who's like a medium to large which is what I usually wear another thing is is I think it's also a little bit cropped especially the camisole underneath I find it's a little bit more cropped than I would like so again, obviously it's probably better fitted for someone a little bit more petite on the more petite side um, But I do not regret buying this top at all. I think it was also very fairly priced Especially because yes style clothing sometimes can be a little bit more expensive um, But with it being a top that includes the camisole inside, I think it was under $30 Canadian So that's very very affordable Moving on to earrings, let's start with the cute feminine pretty ones that go with this top so I can keep this top on for now. Start with these uh, flower dangle earrings and they are so like delicate and feminine and the cool thing is that it's two parts. So you have in the front the one with the actual rhinestone and you have the one in the back which is more of like a transparent flower with the rhinestone in the middle and that serves as the backing of the earring and this serves as the front of the earring so it's actually two pieces where you have to put them together um the cool thing about that is that if you don't want to wear the two pieces you can also just wear just the front one so it's kind of like a two-in-one type of earring actually you could also wear the back one just 
by itself if you have another rhinestone earring but you can always just put the rhinestone in the front and then have the dangling earring in the back so yeah it is totally a two-in-one type of earring so you can wear them together or separately depending on how you like the look to be and I think it's just so feminine and so pretty and it even like has these like little like dingling dangling noises so as you walk I love dangle earrings because I feel like it elongates your face as well and they do say that it's sterling silver although I have no way of proving if they are actual silver or if that even means anything but they have held up very well and I've been seeing any signs of rusting so these are definitely a good quality earring that I would definitely recommend. Another pair of earrings I think goes really well with this type of top is another floral earring and it's another floral drop earring. This one has these two kind of bulkier plastic flowers that really look like you have a flower dangling from your ear and it dangles down and and then has a kind of like a teardrop at the end. So again, super feminine, super pretty. Uh, the good thing about these ones is that they also offer it in a clip-on style. So if you don't have, even if you don't have earrings holes, you can buy this with a clip-on. From afar, they almost look like little birds too, which I really like. Okay, let's just finish all the flower ones in one go. Uh, I think this is the last, I think this is the last floral earring that I have. And it's another dangly flower one. Uh, again, this one has the flower on the top but it's encircled with a nice circle so it actually moves the flower it can move back and forth um, and then it has kind of like a sliver of silver in the bottom and it's particularly shiny so if this one really catches any movement that you have and then it sparkles just at the right places so I really like this one um, as well also like that the flower inside is very intricate it has little sparkles and then a rhinestone in the middle as well so I think overall this earring definitely is made to sparkle so I think it'd be really nice to wear it for an event or a nice dinner and could go really well with a lot of different outfits. Next clothing item that I have is actually these couple shirts that I bought and excuse them being a little bit wrinkled because I just washed them and I never ironed my shirts. So, um, so they are these couple shirts uh, and they actually come in two different styles. So you can mix and match because they are so separately. You can either get two of the white ones or two of the black ones or one of each, is, which is what I got for me and my boyfriend because I feel like it matches our personalities. Um, so I actually got the day one for myself and the night one for my boyfriend and they have these cute little details on the side too on the side of the sleeves uh, they have the moon for the one with the night and they have a little sun for the one with the day these ones are one size fits all but they are size large so um, but because they are both for both men and women I guess it will probably fit most people. I feel like the overall quality is pretty alright. I mean, they're not like expensive shirts, so they're not the best quality, but they're also not bad. They're very kind of lightweight and fairly soft cotton material. The only thing is, is I gave this one to my boyfriend and he tried to wear it a couple times, but he complains that there's a bit of a smell to it, which it does have. It's kind of like a like a factory smell I guess. I don't really know how to describe it. It's not like a really offsetting smell but to people who are a little bit more sensitive like he is, he doesn't really like it. So he gave it back to me and I took it back. So I'm okay wearing it as well because to me it doesn't really make that much of a difference. I did try to wash it like three or four times now and the scent is still there. Like I can't even say that it's gotten less. So I guess the scent is just there to stay. Weirdly enough, it does not have that scent in the white one. So I don't know what the difference is if they're like made in different factories or if they're treated differently because the black color shirt is maybe colored um, but either way if your boyfriend is a bit pickier like my boyfriend maybe not considering getting the set because there is a chance that the black one will have a weird smell to it. Okay, the next earrings I have I feel like go really well with the day and night shirts. So I have changed them out to show you how they look. Uh, so the next one I have is kind of like this moon shape rhinestone pair of earrings. And they both come in different directions. So one face is left and the other face is the right. So usually for these type of earrings I like to wear them where the direction goes towards my face. So 
wear them like that. I have worn these out and I always get crazy compliments on these ones every time I wear them. Star shape at the bottom almost looks like a sapphire from a far away, but it's actually flat. Like it's not actually a ball. These go really well with all types of look. Like if you want to wear like a t-shirt and have it look a little bit edgier, you can or you can dress it up, which I really like. Speaking of moon shaped earrings, I also have this really dainty one. Um, it's also moon shaped, but it has this little rhinestone that kind of just peeks out right underneath and it's supposed to fit just right underneath where your ear is so it just peeks out there. It's very dainty and feminine. Uh, the only thing is is that it's a little bit like more difficult to put on than normal earrings. So the moon shape is one piece and then the kind of rhinestone is another piece. The weird thing about the, the rhinestone piece is it has three holes I guess depending on how big your ear is. So for me my ear is I guess a little bit meatier and bigger so I have to put it in in the very lowest hole and then you have to put the earring stopper in the back so it does take a little bit of fiddling with when you're first using it especially because the rhinestone is so small and dainty but once you get used to it and once you know like how far you need the rhinestone to drop then it'll become easier for you to figure out where to put it so yeah this is more of a casual dainty pretty one so if you're not into extreme earrings like I always am then this is a nice one to wear for a more classy look. The next earrings that I got are these two mismatched earrings and I got them because they kind of reminded me of like card captor Sakura when I was a kid or like Sailor Moon that type of vibe. I don't know why I think it's because card captor they had like that little wand and it has like wings so I don't know, it reminded me of that, so I really wanted to get these ones and they're mismatched too, so I think they're really cute. They're both gold and they both have like pearl details on them and they're both long, so nice elongates your face. I think between the two sides, I definitely like this side better, but I like that they're not complete matches. I think mismatched earrings always bring a lot of interest, so people always like look and see why you have two earrings that aren't the same. Next I have these uh, fan earrings which I think are so cute and because Lunar New Year just passed I like wearing them during those times or like when I go to eat them some or something something really really Asian because I feel like it really accentuates that vibe and I really like that. In fact maybe I'll change my outfit to my Lunar New Year outfit and I will put these on. Wow, I am really looking really extra. <laughs> but I do feel like if I wore this out, I would get so many more red pockets, don't you think? And I love that it's gold and it kind of has like a little jade looking like little pearl there. So again, it goes really well with the Asian vibe. Uh, they also come in two different styles. So I think this is the shorter style, but there is also like a dangler style one. But obviously because I already have so many dangle earrings i thought i would go for the shorter version but yeah if you ever see me at a dimstrom restaurant i'll most likely be wearing this <laughs> Okay, and last but not least, I don't know if you can see these earrings, but they are these two triangular earrings. Kind of looks like a Christmas tree from there. The top one is a smaller triangle and the back one is a bigger triangle. And again, it's like a top back situation. So again, you can wear them with just the front triangle or the back triangle if you match it with like a stud or just like an earring stopper. So again, another two in one earring. They move a lot when it's on your ear. So I don't know, you can do like different shapes with them if you want. You can kind of make it float like that or move them around the other way make a shape that one looks like a bow <laughs> so yeah if you're like a fiddler it's it's fun to fiddle with this when it's on your ear and you can create different shapes and different looks depending on what mood you're in so yeah, these are a lot of fun and they're very simple, but I like them. And I just have one makeup item and I didn't know if I should even include it because I've shown this item many times before, but since it's part of this order that I just show you guys, I got also the Pony Effect Cushion. And it's the Everlasting Cushion Foundation and I'm in the color Natural Ivory. So I always use this cushion almost like every time I do makeup. Uh, it's just a very like standard cushion, but I really like the texture and it's very natural. These days, you can find a lot of 
Korean Christians in North America, like even Sephora carries some of them, but I find Pony Effect is a harder brand to find. Even in different areas of Asia other than Korea, I find that trying to get your hands on a Pony Effect cushion, if you're not in like Korea or Seoul, it's hard to get. So I just you like to order it with my SL orders usually. And I think it's really good value actually because it comes with a refill as well. So once you're done using this one, you can just pop it out and then put another refill in and this lasts me a long time. So actually I think for a foundation, it's not expensive at all considering how much use I get out of it. But yeah, those are all the items for today's Yes Style Haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you are planning to purchase any of the items in the comments down below. And if you are planning to purchase the items, I do have a small promo code. It is Vickylogic. So you can put that in the rewards code and discount code for percentages off. And I'll link all the items down below so that you can find them easily if you are planning to purchase any of them. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing for weekly videos and give me a like if you like this video. It means a lot to me. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!